miner is dreary. Being a mining executive is just weak. Whew, what a long day. But miners have a secret about something they call the heart of Mars. I overheard one of them talking about it. This is where we are now. Mining takes all times. helped us out with the equipment and all. <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> it's... it's probably... <coughs> not, but... I can't afford to go get it looked at. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Thanks, I'll try it, but I really should see an actual doctor. It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. That's generous of you. But the poor girl clearly needs more help. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. It's worse than you think. I didn't just run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Grew angry, dangerous, 
He was no longer himself. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. It's worth a try. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> It's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. As much as possible, yes. I intend to patch things up with him and work with him on our mutual issues. I believe with therapy we could repair our relationship as damaged as it is. Or if you discover it is irreparable, at least you could put the fear of God in him and that should deter him from taking further action. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Do you have a child or children between the ages of 5 to 18? Enroll them in a United States learning program today. Your children will be provided with routine programs and teaching them art and science. I'm going to pretend you didn't just steal that. that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. He didn't even want to drink it. Said he was bounded to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but yeah, whatever. He paid up. I can almost guarantee it's more than you think. So, are you sure about that? Money bags. <laughs> you don't get it. This whiskey was aged in barrels buried in Martian soil, which leached into it. 
giving the whiskey its distinct red hue. They don't make this stuff anymore and never will. The exact process was lost. There's a finite amount of this stuff left in the universe. You're lucky I got any at all. Did you want this stuff or not? Make up your mind. Yes? So if you've got something to say, then say it. You're not on the payroll anymore. I am. Anyway, no harm done. Last person that came didn't even us. want to drink. Well, you just got yourself some premium red harvest reserve, my friend. How am I going to get this one done? You get a lot of new faces passing. Everything. It's my belief that. Don't be a stranger.
fast. signs pointing to the Astral Lounge. I suppose we should pay to visit, purely for exploratory purposes. Are you here to book a room? Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Indeed it does. 
and all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Red Harvest. Well, let's make this quick. <laughs> of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe... She is serious about this. Belinda! How oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. I don't disagree with you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Yes, of course. Understood. I will drop the charges against her immediately. I will call off the bounty hunters. Anything for you to leave me be. Please, just go. There's no need for that. I'm sure Natan understands what we've told him.
suppose I have time for a nap before we leave. that the charges against me have been dropped. Whatever you said to my father worked. It sounds as if I may finally be safe. Thankfully, it sounds as if that may not be necessary, but it is good to know such a guarantee exists. It is good that this chapter of my life is now closed and I can't... Finally, get the help I need. Thank you. 